UK heatwave. Queen's Guards march cup of water to a comrade outside Buckingham Palace. They are famous for marching outside Buckingham Palace in all weathers, and sometimes collapsing when the heat gets too much in summer. But today members of the Queen's Guard, dressed in their traditional red tunics and bearskin hats, were seen getting refreshments, of sorts. Photos showed a pair of soldiers marching delivering a cup of something to drink on a tray to a colleague who was on duty outside Buckingham Palace. The grateful recipient enjoyed his drink as the other two men watched on amid temperatures of at least 37 C, 98.6 F, in the capital today. The Queen's Guard is responsible for guarding royal residences around the country. As well as Buckingham Palace, they are on duty at palaces including St. James's Palace, Windsor Castle and Balmoral. Even in hot weather, the soldiers are on sentry duty for two hours at a time. Their hats, which are up to 18 inches tall, are made from real bearskin and weigh around 1.5 pounds. Today's photos come after a member of the Queen's Guard was filmed toppling over earlier this year. The guard, who was dressed in winter dress, was seen falling after his left foot slid from beneath him. He then toppled backwards before reaching out to grab hold of his guard box. In June, five soldiers fainted while standing guard outside St. Paul's Cathedral during the service of Thanksgiving to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Three soldiers were then pictured being helped back to their feet by aides. Today, temperatures in London rose to 37.5 C, 99.5 F, in Kew Gardens by 3 p.m., making it the hottest day of the year. The Met Office was forecasting temperatures could climb to 38 C, 100.4 F, or even a record-breaking 39 C, 102.2 F, on Monday, whilst Chief Executive Penny Endersby said models were showing that even 43 C, 109 F, could be reached. Wales has provisionally recorded its hottest day on record, with the temperature reaching 35.3 C in Gogarden, near Aberystwyth, beating the previous record for the country which has been in place since 1990. The Queen's Guard are stationed at royal residences including Buckingham Palace, Clarence House and St. James's Palace. Also known as the Household Division, the units are both ceremonial and protective. When the Queen is at Buckingham Palace, there are four sentries outside. When she is away, there are two. Between April and October, the guards wear red tunics and bearskins, the name for the large black hats. In the winter months, they wear a longer, gray coat. The standard bearskin cap is 18 inches tall and weighs 1.5 pounds. Tuesday is predicted to be even hotter, with temperatures possibly reaching a crazy 41 C in Yorkshire and Lincolnshire. The existing UK record, of 38.7 C, recorded in Cambridge in 2019, looks certain to fall amid the sweltering heat. Met Office meteorologist Luke Meal said, For a good part of eastern Wales, and England and southern Scotland, we're looking at the 30s if not the high 30s. He added that London could see temperatures hit 40 C. He said, I've been a qualified meteorologist for 10 years, and telling people about 41 C in the UK doesn't seem real. It's crazy how we are talking about these sorts of values, I've never seen the models coming up with these values. It's been quite an eye-opener to climate change with all these temperatures in the UK. Climate change, which has pushed up global temperatures by 1.2 C on pre-industrial levels, is making heatwaves longer, more intense and more likely. Experts have warned of the need to adapt homes, cities and infrastructure in the UK for a future of more intense summer heat. Hot air from Europe is contributing to the extreme heat in Britain, with a searing heatwave baking much of the continent, fueling fierce wildfires in France and Spain. The UK Health Security Agency has issued a Level 4 heat health alert, described as an emergency, and the UK is under its first red extreme heat warning for a large part of England, issued by the Met Office. The government is holding another emergency COBRA meeting to discuss the response to the heat, but opposition politicians have criticized Boris Johnson for having clocked off by not taking a lead on the issue. Cabinet Office Minister Kit Malthouse, chairing Monday's meeting, claimed it was unfair to criticize the Prime Minister and insisted Mr. Johnson had been fully briefed on the situation. Reduced railway services and slower running times of trains have been put in place amid fears of rails buckling in the heat, with customers being advised to only travel if necessary on Monday and Tuesday. 
Network Rail said the number of passengers using major stations across Britain on Monday was around 20% down on a week ago. Road traffic was also down, with location technology firm TomTom saying congestion at 9am was lower in most UK cities than at the same time last week. In London, congestion levels fell from 53% on July 11 to 42% on Monday. There were also reduced services on the two, which saw around 18% fewer journeys compared to the same time the week before, as people heeded the advice to avoid travel if possible. Some 1.07 million bus journeys were made up to 10 a.m., a 10% decrease week on week, Transport for London said. Some schools in several counties, including Nottinghamshire, Buckinghamshire and Hampshire, were closed, while others cancelled sports days and detentions, and relaxed uniform codes. Additional contingency support is in place for ambulance services, such as more call handlers and extra working hours, but health bosses warned the NHS will be hard pushed in the face of the extreme heat. Interim Deputy Chief Executive of NHS Providers, Miriam Deakin, said the entire health service is under pressure as temperatures rise, with some operating theaters getting too hot, leading to surgery being cancelled. She added, People with underlying conditions, older people and children tend to be most at risk. And while there have been additional steps put in place to increase ambulance capacity, ambulance trusts will be under significant pressure as the number of 999 calls can be expected to rise. Brian Jordan, director of 999 operations at London Ambulance Service, urged people to only dial 999 in an emergency as he told the news a busy day would see 5,500 emergency calls to the service but he was anticipating up to 8,000 on Monday. Britons are being urged to stay inside during the hottest period of the day, between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m., and wear sun cream, a hat, stay in the shade and keep hydrated with water, and there are warnings about swimming in lakes, rivers and reservoirs. Officers searching for a missing 13-year-old who got into trouble in a river near Northumberland have found a body, Northumbria police said, while a 16-year-old boy died after getting into difficulty in Bray Lake, near Maidenhead, Berkshire, Thames Valley police said. The body of a 50-year-old man was recovered from Ardsley Reservoir, between Leeds and Wakefield, on Sunday. There are also warnings of wildfires, with people warned not to use barbecues or leave litter that could spark fires in the countryside, while zoos and wildlife parks are closed to protect animals, staff and visitors. Water companies have been experiencing unprecedented peak demand, with people encouraged to carefully consider their water usage and urged not to waste it. Created by Zero Zero Breaking News. Daily breaking and more news. Please. Subscribe.